It's Sam again from Ashdown Jones and I'm here again in my ensuite bathroom. It's a bit echoey, isn't it? Tess is <laughs> taking the video this morning and uh, I'm here to experiment with some of the uh, cures and solutions that you all recommended to get this label residue off the back of my toilet. Can you see? It's pretty tough. And if you've ever had one of these, you know that it attracts the dirt and the dust and then before you know it, you've got a really horrible black mark. So there was loads and loads of suggestions. <laughs> Thank you for all your suggestions. Some of them were brilliant, some of them were a bit weird. We didn't try the peanut butter one. <laughs> but we have got the top five here, which were white spirits, olive oil, nail balance remover, good old sticky stuff remover, which is a bit of a cheat and petrol. I grabbed my son, Paddy, who by the way is an amazing gardener. Uh, before he went off to work this morning, he said, oh, give me some petrol, because <laughs> he keeps it for his uh, mower and his leaf blower. So we're going to try them all out and just see which one's the best and see which one works best. Now I'm going to try the petrol first because it absolutely stinks. Tess and me are going to be keeling over <laughs> in no time. So I'm going to put a little bit on like this and I'm going to just rub away at it here. You see, it is coming off. Yeah, it is coming off. Okay, so it would need a bit more elbow grease, but I'm going to give that, yeah, I'm going to give that pretty much a, a pass. So yes on the petrol. <laughs> let's get it out of the way. All right, let's try the nail balance remover next. I good if they all worked, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, nail balance remover. This is Tessa's, so thank you. Now that's coming off a bit easier than the petrol actually. So I give that a good pass. Yeah, look, that's coming off nicely. Although it is leaving a bit of a residue behind, which the other one didn't do, the petrol didn't do. Look at that. It's actually spreading it around more. So, hmm, interesting. I'm like a scientist. Uh, we'll do the sticky stuff remover, the cheap one last. Let's try the olive oil, because actually that's what I thought worked, olive oil. Because um, I thought it broke down the, the stuff, the sticky stuff in the uh, glue. Let's just try this one, olive oil. Ah, not working very well at all. Look at that. Still there. <laughs> That's not very good at all. That was my idea. Okay, let's put that away. <laughs> maybe it's not extra virgin. Maybe that's what the problem is. Uh, white spirit. This has got to work, isn't it? Because it's got this stuff in it that needs to get off, which I presume is practically the same stuff as the sticky stuff remover. Let's try this. I'm going to need to wash my hands while I go to work. Ready? I'm going to try it in the middle bit here. Still needs a little bit of elbow grease, but yeah, that is coming off well. Yeah. So, so far the winners, I think, are the petrol and the white spirit. And I'd probably rather do it with white spirit than petrol. I wish we were wearing gloves or something, didn't I? Okay, last but not least, ye old trusty sticky stuff remover. This one was from uh, Amazon, but I'm pretty sure Lakeland do one actually, don't they? So let's just try a bit of this. I'm not sure how you're supposed to put it on, you're supposed to put it on there first. There we go. Ah, not as good. <laughs> Definitely not as good, look. I'm having to put a lot of elbow grease into that. No, that is a fail. Sticky tough remover, that is a fail on my toilet. Right, so which ones did we say were best? White spirit and, and petrol. petrol. We don't use petrol. I'm not gonna use a petrol one because Tess and me will be gassed and there'll be no work it's done today. It's a very small and sweet. <laughs> so, and it's a very small and sweet. So let's just try the, stick, the uh, white spirit. Look, cheap, cheap white spirit. Let's just try and get the rest of it off with this. Because I think that is probably the answer. Yep, yeah, look at that. I'm not gonna spend the whole morning <laughs> on Facebook Live getting it off, but look at that, that is an absolute pass. So well done those of you who said white spirit, because I think that is my number one choice for getting this label off this toilet. So there you go. You can go about your Monday in peace. 
and reassurance knowing how to get label residue of your appliances at home. So have a fantastic Monday and I'll catch you all soon. Bye for now.